Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Heavy D Rolls the Dice by buying a bunch of stuff sight unseen. You see, we're out here in a little town called Duchesne, Utah. Now, Duchesne is basically very eastern Utah in uh, what is called the Uinta Basin. This place is the home of many oil fields, farms, and beautiful country. And a few months ago, I got an email from a guy saying, hey, I got a property, I'm helping a client sell. They got a bunch of old scrap metal. Here's a couple pictures. How much would you pay for it? And I was like, well, what all is out there? And he's like, I don't know. Here's a few pictures, take your best guess. So I was like, I'll give you 12 grand. And the guy's like, okay, well, the property owner is selling the property. So we're dealing with the new property owner who inherited the deal. Oh boy, that's a ditch. Nothing like the sound of dragging your low boy across. Whatever the hell I just dragged it across. There's a low power line. There. Bud, go ahead and start working on unloading the sandy. I can't make it through there. Good morning. Good morning. So you got a lot of stuff, huh? Yep. So this is Susan. And, I'm and uh, you're the son. What's your name? He's my son here. <laughs> What's your name? Osvaldo. 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 Yep. So what we're going to do is basically buy all your junk. You've got a decent amount of it. Some of the stuff we're going to pick and keep. Some of the stuff we're going to take and scrap. And you're going to see trucks and trailers come in and out all day long. And what's the puppy's name? Uh, Hi, Luigi. Yeah. Hi, Luigi. Hi, Mario. All right, so Susie is about to show us, kind of point us in the direction of what to take and what not to take. Yes. Are you guys moving in or moving out? I don't know what I'm doing to You don't know yet? <laughs> I basically bought this place without even seeing it. Really? So did I. <laughs> <laughs> happening is everything that I thought we were getting based off the pictures we're getting most of it but there's some stuff that has tape on it that we have to kind of negotiate a deal on so we're gonna have the drone operator diesel Dave give us a quick tour of property and uh, show us kind of what we're working with lots of farm implements old tractors we've got uh, forklifts we got school buses we got halves of tractors we got motorhomes we got vans Tons of farm implements, random miscellaneous, just stuff, box trucks. Basically what we're gonna do is start going through and loading up anything that's obvious scrap and we'll start throwing it in our end dump there. There's some really cool stuff out here. There's gonna be some stuff that you see us throw away that you're like, oh, don't throw that away, I needed that. Well, guess what? You're probably in Kentucky and we're in Utah and it's not worth trying to ship or hang on to some of the stuff. We're gonna take a walk around there and kind of, kind of look at everything. So here's the thing, had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. There's some cool old stuff out here. I mean, that's gotta be a 40s model, the white Mustang. Those are the hard ones, cause it's like, it's so beat up, but at the same time, it's so vintage. This is gonna be the hard part, deciding what to scrap, what not to scrap. The nice thing is there's a lot of big, dense metal out here. Lots of big, ooh, lots of big thorny trees too. I bought this based off of a handful of pictures. The description said this plus a bunch more. And so I was like, okay, well, if it's, you know, everything that I'm kind of seeing in the pictures and stuff, I didn't necessarily know that it was just what was in the pictures. That's not what we agreed to. What do you think, Jim? Do you like, do you like jobs like this? Every once in a while you can find a sweet treasure. How about something? a sweet day like this? You couldn't ask for better weather, especially out here. Always windy out here, which is perfectly still right now. Dude, that is actually nice. Don't jinx it, please. Dibs on that hook. What I'm most excited about today is what I'm currently standing on, which is my brand new CMP grapple. This bad boy right here is gonna make picking up and moving metal a whole lot easier. We also brought the uh, bobcat with forks and a bucket. And, uh, uh, and, uh, and, uh, um, uh, 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 uh. We, uh, we brought our green rollback because it's really good for loading vehicles. And we also have it pulling a gooseneck trailer, which is not a very common sight. For some reason, Dave left it running. Plenty of manpower. We got all of our dudes wandering around all over the place. I was gonna say, guess how much scrap we're gonna pick up, but I really don't know because I don't know. All right, now that you've had a gander at all the treasures that are here at the scrap yard, I want you to take a guess at how much we're gonna load on our trailers Take to the recyclery, and your guess needs to be in the form of money. Not poundage, but money. How much money are we gonna make here 
in the scrapyard? Go ahead and put your answer in the comments below, or put your comment in the answers below, whichever way you want to phrase it. Go ahead, type it out, I'll wait. Hey you, type it out. Dave will let you know what the answer is here in a little bit. Get me down from here. Oh, come on. Don't do that weird laugh. Come on, man. These drone operators suck. Slightly uncomfortable feeling just based off the fact that Dave has never ran this machine with a grapple on before. He hits one wrong button, this bad boy starts spinning, and I'm in. <laughs> you, look awesome. you look awesome. Also, I have a question. My question is, what are you going to do all day now that I'm driving this? <laughs> Be pulling you out of that all day? Scale of 1 to 10, how good was that hotel breakfast? The 10. Solid 10. On a, as far as hotel breakfast, I, it was the best. We stayed at Best Western something here in Duchesne. Hands down, the ho best hotel breakfast. You talk to Kathy at breakfast time, she's going to hook you up. She gets the eggs. Yeah. She makes the sausage. Those biscuits and gravy love. were some of the best biscuits and gravy I've ever had in my yeah. entire life. Hey, Jim, how good was the breakfast? Scale of 1 to 10. It was 10. Sausage. 100% 10. And? Biscuits and gravy were an 8. An 8? The orange juice cups were this big, so yeah. I got 40 of them. What would you rate the breakfast, Al? I'd rate it 8, man. It was good. A or 8? A. No, no, we're doing numbers. Oh, numbers? Yeah. Oh, I would say probably around 8 or 9. Okay. Bud? Did you have some breakfast? No, we're not. We're not talking about. We're not talking about the Mountain Dew cigarette you had for breakfast. The the good news is we have some very helpful hands out here. We got Cooper, actually, aka Bad Boy, the workhorse of the group. Then we got Al, the genius, A, who can tell us what's worth what. But you're not allowed to start hoarding out here. You have enough stuff on your own property. You may take one or two items home. But we, I have to approve them. Okay, I'll take the... Not taking the sandy. You already have one of my excavators <laughs> at your house. We have Jim, the all-around Leatherman. You got your Leatherman on you? Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Leatherman. Leatherman, Leatherman Jim. <laughs> so, Jim, there we go. Get that sponsorship. Call me. <laughs> Call me back. <laughs> I talked a lot. And then we got Bud, the logistics expert, who's going to keep us all fueled up and keep us... Dude up, fueled yeah. up and dude up, man. Dude and then we got we got Hunter, who oh, seems man. to be in a good mood today. Did you get some sleep? No, but no, I still in a good mood. Not in a good mood. He seems in a great mood. Yeah. He seems to be yeah. hiding. No, okay, no, okay. No, Compare no, this Hunter no, no. to the Hunter in the last video at the compound. Why? I'll, I'll tell you why Hunter's excited. Hunter, Hunter found a little hidden gem in here that we're not going to show you just yet, but he's pretty excited about it. When I first pulled the tractor in and saw Hunter just grinning from ear to ear, I knew he must have found something that he wanted, and it's probably something that's going to hit his YouTube channel. Which, by the way, if you don't subscribe to Hunter, you probably should put the link in my description below. Go follow his channel. Same thing with Al, Mountain Fortress Lab. Same thing with uh, Kroger Official. <laughs> Kroger Official. Hi, Dave's mom. And you guys just specialize in just bur like bargain brand stuff? Bargain brands, you know, the best deals you can get out there. Yeah, don't go to Bad Boy's channel because well, it's basically it's an OnlyFans page. Sometimes we collab on OnlyFans good content. This is the stuff that's going to be tricky because these are siphon pipes. They're worth something to someone. I bet these bigger ones, I'm taking home. <laughs> they're, they're worth like 20 bucks a piece. Well, hear me out. We install two of those in each one of the trucks. So when you're driving, you don't need to stop for a bathroom break. Either. That's a fantastic <laughs> idea, actually. I might install one of those in my bed. <laughs> the the catheter. Gibbs on this one in my out truck. The <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need one of these too. built is all the clamping force that the tractor can put on something it holds it there because it has these valves to basically close as soon as you clamp i can lift something and know that the bucket's not going to slowly open you know release the hydraulic cmp obviously if you can see they made this specifically for us as i spin it around here it's pretty obvious we got the dp american flag i mean these guys Put this up big time. Super proud to call uh, CMP and the guys over at Sandy, partners of ours. They make great equipment and uh, we've had good luck with it.
getting the hang of it, getting used to it. Feels good. Feels good. Does that remind anyone else of the Iron Giant? Just... Have you seen the Iron Giant, Nate? No. How zoomed in are you to my face right now? Pretty, pretty close. I figured it's 24 and I'm right here. It's a little hot. I had to go sleeveless, but after that, it feels great. There's a lot more stuff here than we were, uh, at least I was anticipating. A lot more stuff that we need to kind of like separate. Separate aluminum, steel, copper. We'll do a couple loads to the uh, scrapyard and then take a final load home. Normally when we do scrap jobs, it's just everything must go, total yard sale. This time we're gonna be a little bit more careful. These radiators have a lot of precious metals in them. Motors have a lot of copper in them. You get way more money for that kind of stuff. So we're gonna take our time since we have the manpower to do it and take the hard, you know, the hard carbon, iron, steel, put it in a big ugly trailer. Anything non-ferrous, we're gonna keep separate because the scrap yard, like one small load of electric motors and radiators could be worth twice what that entire load of steel is worth. So. We gotta get our money's worth here because, uh, well, quite frankly, based on what I'm seeing, I don't wanna say I overpaid. All I know is that thumb or the grapple on that sandy is like the best thing that's ever happened, right? Really See that just finagles things? You just look like the Iron Giant. Right? I feel like the Iron Giant. Is that my new nickname? The Iron Giant. Cool, thanks, Kroger. Hey, bad boy, everything going good? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. It's going great. Yeah. yeah. Okay, wait, if you guys bad boy, like and bad boy subscribe yet? Go do that now. Ooh, bad boy's telling you. Kroger, on the other hand, will give you a discount if you subscribe. Discount for me to allow it. It's just permanently discounted, right? Kroger's just kind of just always discounted. It's a slight discount. It's a little marked down. How, how many people do you think we offend? By, by using the word Kroger and in a derogatory way towards you. I love the Kroger value. Hunter can't afford Kroger, so we're offending him. Say Kroger's nice? He's like, that's the stuff he can't afford. It's above average. Wait, no, 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 hold on. Hey. I don't think you understand what Kroger is. It is above average. No, I like this. Hunter, it's above average. Kroger, Kroger's a value brand. No, Kroger is a strong brand. Kroger is like a generic brand of like cereal. Okay, back east. Kroger is the same as Smith's. Yeah, that's, so I'm telling you. Kroger, that's what I told you the first Kroger day. Brand. Yeah, so, but it's like Smith's brand. Smith's, Smith's, no, Smith's Kro brand is, val is still the value brand compared to like Kroger yeah, owns well, Smith's, Fry's, well, Harmon's, well, all those. And so really, I'm just starting an empire. Umbrella Corporation, brothers. Okay, dude, you're gonna be Western Family then. Fine. You wanna be Malto Meal? Look, who, look who Western man. Family I raised. I'm not out of touch. I'm, I'm listen, a little out of touch with the common man, but not that out of touch. I want you to expand your thinking though. Western Some, Family raised you, it raised Jim, hey, it raised Diesel Dave. You know what? Think about that. It raised some giants. Your church canned beans Whoa, from the so Bishop's help, Storehouse. I'm helping Bishop's out families in need. Bish, you, <laughs> I'm, I'm helping out families in need. Hey, hey, my, Thank my, you. I grew up on family store on Bishop Storehouse. So exactly. I so I also helped raise you. You're welcome. I just drew myself, put myself in a real pickle yeah, here. I'm still Kroger, and that's still below bad boy. You're bad boy. Hey man, we're both having great nicknames out here. Yeah. Hell yeah! Power to people. Oh yeah! this program to bring you a special report. A sound you could fall asleep to.
tell this thing's made out of serious metal. that's made out of but it can't be regular steel that is like the most resilient metal I've ever come across uh oh that's not what we needed that's a lot of damage that is the most durable shit I've ever come across in my life that blew a tiny line oh, oh it breaks no, everything I was uh -huh. just trying to bend that piece of unbendable steel over there. Got to go to town and get a hydraulic hose made. Don't worry, Dave. I'll help you. <laughs> Boom. Look at that. That, my friends, is a field fix. Oh, my goodness. I got it, guys. I got it. <laughs> got it. Hey. First round's going to this guy. You're getting your ass kicked. You need to up your game, okay? We need to come to the corner. We need to ice you down with a towel. New game plan. I thought you were the halftime report guy. Halftime report guy. It's going um, great. We got our first load basically already. Don't know where Jim and Bud and Bud's uncle went. Don't even know what Bud's uncle's name is. So the stuff that we're not gonna take, stuff like campers, that's mostly just landfill trash. Like, yeah, it has some aluminum siding, but it's probably like, I don't know, a hundred bucks worth of, worth of scrap. No way. What? Nothing. Did it sound convincing? Oh, that's actually sick. That's nice, man. I might take it for a test drive, though. Feels good. What you would expect. Actually, I think we should just grab this dozer. Oh, someone took a shit on the seat. That's a human shit. That does it a lot like a human shit. Gross. Not bad, guys. That's a lot of damage. How about a little more?
So obviously, we'll run a little competition here to see if you guys can guess how much the total dollar amount of scrap value is gonna be that we're gonna get out of here. Currently, we're sitting at about $14,000. Let's see if we can double that, uh, double that number, I don't know. We got the bulk of the big stuff. Still have quite a bit still, but whew, that shade feels good. This is the part where it gets a little bit hard for us, huh, Al? Yeah. We have to start deciding what to leave, what not to leave. Just saw a D4 dozer that I didn't know existed, which I'm pretty stoked about. Old Alan spotted it out. Load on the low boy. We had a uh, hydraulic line on the excavator blow. Something basically pushed up against the underbelly of the excavator, just enough to kind of make it the hose chafe. Brand new hose, so it didn't fail. It just uh, kind of got caught in a weird spot because of something that got pushed under the underbelly. So now we are headed to O'Reilly's because supposedly they have somebody there who's a hydraulic guy who can do some work on it for us. So we're about to find out just how capable the O'Reilly's here in Duchesne is. I'm optimistic. I'm always optimistic. So one way or the other, we'll figure it out. But this is the part of uh, the recoveries and stuff where I kind of start to thrive. Shit starts to hit the fan. People start to get pissed off. It starts to get chaotic. I like a good challenge. I don't love being covered in hydraulic oil, which is what I am currently covered in from quite literally head to toe. So O'Reilly here in Duchesne a bunch of OGs because they just let me come back to their hydraulic room and uh, me and my boy back here found the pieces that we needed, clipped them together, and I think we've got the fix. We're grabbing a couple of fittings, adding this new pet section in here. We we'll cut out the old bad section, which is like right, that's on the burst. So we're adding 18 inches because it was already a little tight. What's your name, man? Chopper. Chopper. I knew Chopper was the guy. <laughs> we now have ourselves fixed hydraulic hose, thanks to Mr. Chopper. Oh, you're the man, you know that, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> What's your Google page? Your Facebook, Instagram? Yeah, Facebook, Instagram, Chopper Loke. C-H-O-P-P-E-R, Loke, L-O-C. I like it. I'm so happy right now. Boy, funnel. What a business. Thank you, brother, appreciate it. Got it, man. I willed that shit to happen. We got the hydraulic hose that we needed, which was a long shot at 8.30 at night in a small town. Now we're going to get hamburgers because I'm about to disintegrate. I'm so excited right now. I just really, really need those fittings to hold, which they will. Yeah, we may be getting a late start on the drive home, but we'll all sleep in tomorrow and it'll be a beautiful day and the tractor will be fixed and we'll have five semi loads of scrap to haul off. Literally the only size hydraulic hose that he had was three eighths and it happened to be a higher pressure rating than the one that we currently have. And then he had the fittings to put it together. One hour later. We did it. We fixed the excavator with literally just sheer willpower. Cooper just topped off the hydraulic fluid. The machine is dialed, ready to go. Luckily, while we were gone, they were able to use the tow truck, our big green rollback, which is probably the best truck that's ever, ever built, to load the dozer to load the low boy, to load pretty much everything. So now the last thing we're gonna do is go up and down each aisle, pick up the big pieces of scrap and fill the scrap trailer. Unfortunately, we're leaving some vehicles behind, but maybe we'll come back another day, maybe we won't. At the end of the day, it was a successful trip. I mean, we've got another probably equally as heavy load, if not heavier than the last load that we just took with the scrap. To clean up our tools, clean up our mess. We'll be out of here in 10 or 15 minutes. Remember I told you? I was like, we're gonna make this happen. Don't bet against me, that's all I gotta say. Huge shout out to O'Reilly Auto Parts. It's not a paid plug, but O'Reilly Auto Parts and uh, Chopper Loke, our man over there, who basically got us set up, let us do what we needed to do to get the hydraulics going. Because now we are going home to see our families tonight with a plentiful loot, including one bonus dozer that I didn't even know was there.
second full trip of the day, five full trucks, 10 trucks in total. I just gotta go pay the lady. I owe her 12 grand. We made 14 grand at the scrapyard today, which barely puts us at break even because of the fuel costs and everything to get out here. But this next load, got some good stuff on it. Probably be able to double our money. There was a dispute because previous owners who sold this property arranged this through their realtor who sold the property. Well, they sold it and they moved on. And the gal Susie here inherited the deal of selling all the junk. Well, she thought that the deal was 12 grand just for some of the vehicles and the pictures. We were told that it was 12 grand for pretty much everything on site that we wanted. So there's a little bit of like a misunderstanding there, but she's happy, she's got 12 grand. I mean, our first check was only 14 grand from the scrapyard. And like I said, that doesn't even cover our cost for paying her and getting out here. So we're just hoping that this, uh, this second load kind of pays off. And you know, she needs the money, maybe we'll come back out and do what we can to help her, you know, make a little bit more cash. But for now, we're all tired. It's been a long 36 hours. So we're gonna hit the road. You should subscribe to our channel so we can keep doing these videos for you. And if you like this video, like and subscribe. Oh, Jim just did an ollie. You missed his ollie.